Hello everyone. This wasn't the video I was planning on making today, but as I've just seen Blade Runner 2049, I felt I had to do something on the soundtrack because I, well, I enjoyed it so much. It really harks back nicely to uh, the original soundtrack with the use of the CS80, but it also has all the hybrid orchestral stuff that Hans Zimmer does so well. And there's one particular sound that sort of stood out to me in the sort of the, the tension sequences and the action sequences, uh, and that's this sound. Which I know is not a million miles away from the uh, famously overused foghorn sound, uh, but this version of it is just sort of so nice and warm and distorted, it's, it's got a really lovely quality to it, that I felt, well, I had to have a go at recreating it. And of course, showing you how I did it. So, we're going to start off with Arturia's CS80 V2, because because it's Blade Runner and you've, you've got to have CS80 in it, it's the law. And we're going to start off with one of the sort of the basic preset patches, uh, which is called 2OSC. Uh, it's just the two oscillators on, set an octave apart, no kind of modulation, nothing fancy. And already it sounds very good. Nice and fat. So the first thing we're going to do to sort of make it even bigger sounding is we're going to put the synth into unison mode. So if we open up the zone editor up here, uh, all our eight voices are all on the same zone. Uh, so we're going to put it into uni last mode or unison mode with the last played note taking priority. And by default, all the uh, voices have some detune applied to them already just to give it that extra fatness. So the next thing we're going to do is just make sure that we've got the square or uh, the pulse wave turned on for both our voices here and we're going to turn the portmanteau up just to give it that nice sort of laggy feel between the two notes. Uh, let's see, probably about there is good. Lovely, you can hear it ramping up and down. So most of this sound actually comes from the effects. Uh, so we're going to start by putting in some distortion. And uh, there's a distortion plugin that I've just started using and I've been using a lot, it's really nice, uh, is Audio Assault's Head Crusher. Uh, this is only the free version, but it still sounds excellent. So let's put a bit of drive on there. And already we're getting some lovely distorted tones there. That is sounding very good. Uh, synthesizers don't often sound very good through distortion. They're kind of there's a lot of distortion that's designed for sort of clean guitar signals. So signals that are already sort of very clippy, particularly if you've got lots of square waves in there, don't always sound good. But in this case, it it sounds really nice. And we've got the needle going all the way up into the red, which is what we like to see. And then the final component of this sound is reverb, because again, this is Blade Runner, we need tons of reverb. And for maximum 80s effect, uh, we're going to RC24 by Native Instruments and Softube, uh, the recreation of the famous lexicon. So we're gonna go uh, with large hall, and we're going, uh, because we're using this as an insert, we need to put this into mix mode. And let's, let's crank that up a bit more. But the trick we're going to do here is we're going to put the reverb before the distortion. And that means all the big reverb tails that are all sort of coming through nice and warm and nice and smooth are going to get put into the distortion and just cranked even further. So it's just going to really thicken up the sound even more than we were doing in the synth. Um, let's crank up the intensity as well uh, because it just make it sound even bigger. And let's see how that sounds. Nice. Let's make sure we've got the pre-delay turned all the way down. And uh, let's also just turn the high cut down a little bit as well, because a lot of the, there's a lot of the high frequencies are ringing out there. So let's actually take it down quite a lot. We're still going to get the high frequency stuff coming through from the distortion uh, and the synth, because we, we are in mix mode. So we're still going to get a bit of that. So how does that sound? That sounds pretty close, I think. I think we're happy with that. Uh, the notes I'm playing there, by the way, are uh, low D at the bottom. 
and then up to a C, but up to a C two octaves above, and it's that jump that makes all the difference, all the difference to the tension, like this. And that's how you do it, one blade runner bass sound. Thanks for watching.